Hello everyone. In this video, we will be completing a table of values given a linear equation. The linear equation that we have here is in the form y equals mx plus b, or that is in slope intercept form. And this is the second part. In this part right here, we are going to use the slope and the y intercept to complete this table that we have right here. Now let's take this first example. Use the equation y equals 3x minus 5 and complete the table below. There are two numbers in in this equation that we have here, we have 3 and negative 5. These numbers are very important in order that we can complete this table right here. This first value that we have here, which is the coefficient of the x here, is what we call as growth factor or the slope. So I'm just going to label that um, up here. So this 3 is again the growth factor or the slope. Okay, now on the other hand here, this negative 5 is what we call as the starting value, initial value. In math, we call this as the y-intercept. Pretty much this is the value of y when x is 0. So I'm just going to label that um, up here. Okay, so we pretty much um, have to define again each of these uh, two numbers we have here. This three is again the growth factor. Growth factor means how much does it grow by or pretty much it's called a slope. And this negative five here is the starting or initial value. Pretty much in math, we call this as the y-intercept or the value of y when x is zero. Now we remember that if we say starting or initial value, th this is where we start when x is zero. Now looking at this equation right here, we can go ahead, therefore say that this negative five here should always go to the value of uh, y when x is zero. So we're going to look at for x, we look at the zero, the zero is right here. So this negative five is going to go to this column right here. So I will write negative five here. Now, in order that we can determine the rest of the values that we have here, we have to make sure that the interval of the x is by, it goes by 1. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sometimes it can be like 0, 2, 4, 6. It's not going to work. So we, only, we have to make sure that the interval is by 1. So that we can go ahead and say that we already... Um, determined the initial value right here or the starting value again the starting value is when x is equal to zero that's negative five now the growth factor how much does it grow by it says that it's three so that means that in order to get to the next value we are adding three each time so that would be negative five plus three is negative two so that's the neg that's the next value right there and so this growth factor would work to um, each of the steps. So I'm just going to go ahead and write plus 3 to each of these uh, parts right here so we can determine the next value. So then we go ahead and say that negative 2 plus 3 is a positive 1. And then a positive 1 plus 3 is 4. And then 4 plus 3 is 7. And then 7 plus 3 is 10. So we have completed the table. Again, we are using the growth factor or the slope and we are using the y-intercept or the starting or initial value in order that we can complete this table. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, we are going to label these two numbers right here. This first number is what we call as the growth factor or the slope. And the second value that we have here is the starting or initial value. This is otherwise called the y-intercept or this is the value of y when x is zero. So I'm just going to label this up here.
Okay, now again, we remember that this starting or initial value, it only works when x is zero. So that's where we put the value. So in this case right here, this um, positive seven, which is the starting or initial value, we put it to the spot when x is zero. So then we look for the zero on the x row right here, and that's where the zero is. That means this positive seven is gonna go here. So that's how we um, determined the first value, which is the uh, the y-intercept or the starting value. Again, we do not put that here because others are going to think like, oh, it means starting value. So I'm going to put that up here because that's where the table starts from. Again, the initial or the starting value, we put that value into the um row when the x is zero so we look for the zero x that's where we put the seven and then from here that's where we start from so it says that we uh the growth factor here is negative four so then we are going to subtract four each time to get to the next value so pretty much we have seven take away four is three oh. And then 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. And that would also be true for the rest of the parts right here. That would still be a minus 4. Because again, the growth factor is the same for all of these uh, columns right here. So that we can go ahead and say that fig we figure out that value such that if we subtract 4 from it, it becomes 7. So that value should be 11. Or you can go the other way around. 7 plus 4 is 11. And it, it makes sense as well because if you have 11 minus 4 is 7. So what value is in here such that if you subtract 4, it becomes um, 11. So that should be 15. So we have completed the table. Again, we did not use substitution for this. We were using the growth factor, which is the coefficient of the x, and we used the y-intercept or the starting initial value when x is zero, and that's where we put that from here, and we have completed the table. Did you get the same answers as this? Yeah. Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.